other methods you can use to determine the moisture in the soil. Uh, a real simple one is the cake testing method. You take a, a skewer. This is just a plain old bamboo kebab skewer you could buy in the grocery store. You can stick it into your plant like you were testing a cake and you pull it out and you can tell uh, by the way it looks by the soil sticking to it and by how it feels between your fingers and this one had a tiny bit of soil and when I run it between my fingers I feel a little bit of moisture so that again tells me it's ready to water then let's try this one this is a little harder because of all its roots down in there and when I pull that out you can see the moisture sticking on the plant you can feel it. it feels quite a bit more moist than this this is a kind of plant a fern that likes uh, to be more moist so this is good for this plant I'll turn it over if I had a lot of plants and I was going to test them I probably want to have a whole handful of skewers but I stick this in my dry plant and pull it up nothing sticks to it it doesn't have any moisture on it it feels perfectly dry and that was dry now, here's another thing you can use. This is a moisture meter. You can buy a moisture meter in any store. And uh, sometimes they have one rod sticking down, sometimes two, because this one also tests for pH as well as moisture. It has a little dial at the top with a needle that moves back and forth, and it works on uh, electrical conductivity. And uh, you can stick it into your plant. And it will read. This one is reading moist be between moist and dry. And the thing you can do that you've got to do when you're using a moisture meter after you stick it in the soil you run your fingers along the, the rod partly to clean it off but partly to make sure that it's matching what you see because if you feel moisture on there and the moisture meter is reading dry that moisture meter is not working or you have a soil condition you need to address um, so moisture meters can be very helpful but they can also not work properly and just to see how the dry plant registers when we put that in the little meter is wiggling a tiny bit but it's basically showing dry and that's what our fingers told us so we know that that's that that's all good so those are your moisture probes, little things you can use. And you can also use a big moisture probe. This is a homemade probe. It's made out of a wooden dowel. In some parts of the country, you can buy them. And professionals use aluminum ones. You can buy plastic ones. But you can also make your own if you need to. And these are very good for large plants. Let me show you how. Okay. So remember what you want to do is go all the way down to the bottom of the soil, to the bottom of the pot, and twist it around and lift up again and it'll pull up a little bit of soil for you. You can feel between the fingers and you can feel, or I can feel, that that plant is very soft and moist and just ready to water. This big guy here is very full of roots and if you tried to put a spoon down in here you couldn't do it because it's so full of roots so you almost have to use a moisture probe if you're going to find out what's happening with the roots underneath so I'm going to pull back my mulch my decorative mulch and I'm going to force the moisture probe all the way down to the bottom of the soil and pull it up and when I feel the soil it's almost dry so I know that this plant is ready to water again also. But I couldn't have found that out any other way than with a big moisture probe. Nothing else would, would fit. So this is probably a tool that you're going to need if you've got any big plants, a moisture probe.